Okay. I think a lot of problem I was having. <clears throat> I, you know, I consider myself to have a pretty good grip, but um, I'm sure, if you have a flywheel on one of these things, um, it'll turn over pretty good. I think what I was doing was trying to uh, to grip it and. Uh, with my bare hands on a taper shaft, probably had some some grease on it. Uh, so what I did was, there's that eight pounds. It's just breaking at that. There we go. That one didn't. That did. Seems like if you get it turning real fast, see right there, it didn't break did there. Um, anyway, you know, I went ahead and cleaned the shaft good with brake fluid and then I get on this thing. And once you get it turning, you get the initial turn, it does crank over. Um, I would say that's as good as it's going to get with the engine as being as tight as it is with new components and all. Um, it's just that first surge when you try to turn it over, um, kind of stalls out. Um, but it does turn over by hand. Uh, so I'm satisfied with it. It's about as good as I can do it. Everything's fine in the engine. Um, there you go. Here we are at the uh, Duke's Horse Stable, and this is the victim. Mr. Onan, 20 horse. Um, first thing is, yeah, look at here. Phenolic spacer where it should be. First thing, guys, read the manual. I, I, I did. I had this thing printed three weeks ago, and I read it, and I overlooked a couple things, but make sure you read your manual when you... Hear the old verbiage, real men don't need instructions, bullshit. It's best to have that right with you. And uh, not in the house. When you're out in the garage, have it with you. First thing I'd like to say is, is um, there's a few things that you can do that I found helpful. When you assemble uh, your engine, uh, what I always do as soon as I get the parts, on these, an old mechanic told me that, you can probably see those dots. Uh, you take your, your punch, punch maybe um, two on this rod and end cap with your, your rod cap. And I always do it, or in this particular case, opposite of where your oil hole is this is supposed to face up towards the camshaft. This goes towards the camshaft. So on the other end, see the dot? This one has one. And I put corresponding uh, marks on the crank, on the end of the crank right next to where they go. Um, and I do that so, one, if it's ever taken apart, I know which piston came out again. Um, and also, it, uh, it tells me when I'm looking down through the base pan is where you'll view that from underneath, you'll see those two marks. And you'll know it's opposite of where the oil holes are. Uh, the manual says uh, in instructions either oil holes or notches. You'll see square notches. These are the old style rods with the hole in the center. Uh, not very strong. The new rods that I have are solid and uh, they don't have a, uh, that hole in the center of the rod which makes them a little weaker. Uh, that's one thing. The other thing I did is I heard from buddies from just hanging around in the garage. Whenever they put their engine together they take some fuel tubing and they put over the bolts so when you're sliding the piston down you got your piston ring compressor and, and you've, you're putting the piston home and down over the crank. 
these bolts do not mar the crank up. Just a little extra protection. That's a good idea. Whenever I take um, anything apart on these tractors, I um, I label. I take I have plenty of sandwich bags, and I put on what is, is what was in that bag. This particular bag is, of course, the oil pans on. This was the oil pan bolts, and I do that and on everything I take apart. I mark on it what it was and that really helps when you go after your parts and put stuff back together. Um, so that's a pretty good, uh, that might be a good tip for you. Okay, <clears throat> I got the engine, the oil pan on. Um, I have the uh, oil filter on, the uh, gear cover, governor, everything's done, tightened up. Um, had a little problem with the um, the oil pump and um, I took it back apart. And there must have been a gasket, a little bit of gasket material that got in the oil port hole on the oil pump, kind of worked over, squeezed over. So I took this back and again took it back apart and had to re reinstall the gasket on there. Uh, learned a little bit of something about that oil pump. Seems like every time I get into something I get in a little deeper and back apart it comes. It's all about learning I guess. Uh, I primed the oil pump and put it in a uh, small pint container and turned it over. And when I did, I could see oil shoot out of it, so I knew it was primed good. Working at that point. And I got a drill motor with 11 16 socket. And I over the engine that way. A little bit better than having to uh, hook up a motor pulley and all that stuff. When I did it, I could have this plug off so I could see um, oil shooting up through there. Uh, it's this whole arrangement, something's off center and it's kind of jerky, but uh, it, it, the shaft is turning real smooth. Everything is turning smooth there, and it's probably impact socket. Probably not the best fit on that. Anyway, um, there you go. So I'm going to next few days. I'm going to start getting the upper. Uh, we'll get all the tin painted. I'll get all the uh, the manifold done. I'll get the flywheel on. <clears throat> Stator flywheel painted. Get, start working toward getting all that stuff installed. Um, I'll adjust the valves at that point when I can line up the timing marks here on the gear cover. Oh, the other thing is, is, is uh, I don't know if you noticed it, when I had this out and I hooked this up, governor works good. You can see it works. It'll throw that arm right over. So that's another thing I was able to check. I think the uh, drill motor idea is pretty good, running it. Um, not a problem if that little drill motor turned it over that starter surely will. Especially since it's turned a big flywheel like that. Got a lot of a lot of leverage. So I'm signing off. You guys have a real good Christmas. And I got about a week and a half off and I'll be working on this thing and on the tractor. Over and out.